Pointing your domain name to WP Engine usually is done by simply logging into your Network Solutions account. Uh, click on My Domain Names, find your domain, and click on Advanced DS DNS Settings where there's a little edit link. It'll take you to this page. Uh, edit the A record. The uh, IP address here is what you want to change to what you see within your WP Engine account under your user portal for the domain name. Here's the IP address for WP Engine. Copy that, paste it in here, save those A records, and your domain name is pointed to WP Engine. Simple. However, if WP Engine changes their IP address, uh, you're stuck. You, you need to coordinate with their change to change your IP address to whatever their updated IP is. The better way to approach it is to follow this process using the CNAME record. So um, if you scroll down here, you'll see the CNAME records. And there's a bunch of stuff set up for this domain name. This is the support article on how to forward your site using the CNAME record. Uh, I'll link to this in the description notes of the video. But um, this is the process. Once you are editing the domain name under these advanced DNS settings, follow these steps. Find the IP address A records. We're going to edit this A record. And we're going to clear out www and the wildcard. We're going to change this IP address to the IP address mentioned here. This is the default IP for network solutions. And as soon as I hit continue, it's going to change this IP address so that uh, the root, I guess, is going to go to this IP, and then www and the wildcard are going to be removed. Change may take up to 24 hours. It's fine. Hit save changes. The next step here is to go down under the CNAME records. We're going to edit these records. And I'm going to leave these alone. These were set up previously. Um, and the instruction is to enter www in the alias and then change this to point to another host, which is the CNAME record here, doculabs.wpengine.com. Let's hit continue here. Um, save changes. There you go. That's it. That's the better approach. Uh, that way you're not relying on the IP address. Hopefully that helps.